Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick little teensy comparison between Manjaro Linux version 21 on the left hand side here versus Fedora 36 on the right hand side here. So both the latest releases, both running on the GNOME or GNOME desktop environments there. Uh, now, if I was to get into it here, let's actually uh, open up the, the the desktop interface. So the, the GNOME desktop interface here. So they are pretty much similar. They are the same version in exactly. Uh, slightly different customizations or optimizations, just the color scheme and the look and feel a bit. But we've got the same old basic applications menu here type to search with what we want to look for. So pretty much of a muchness between the two in terms of being quite similar. Right click in, uh, you've got this little tiny pincy little uh, uh, context menu, which unfortunately GNOME or GNOME just seems to do, which is a bit of a shame. If we were to look at the file uh, manager, we will find that these guys are the same there as well. A little bit more stock looking for uh, Fedora. I'm just not the biggest fan here. I do love the dark mode that uh, Manjaro implements a standard there. Even different, more beautiful icon sets. Uh, these are just stocko icon sets. I'm just not a fan of it at all, unfortunately. Sham on you, Fedora. Uh, next down, uh, let's have a look at the 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 ram, uh, Sorry, the kernel. We'll start off with the kernel. So these are both fairly latest and greatest. Now you, we can see Manjaro, which is actually based on Arc Linux, is uh, the 5.15 kernel. So pretty recent. Uh, Fedora, which is actually the upstream for what will become uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, is 5.18. So latest and greatest kernel that you've ever seen to date, as of the you know the 19th of June 2022. So it, it's potentially going to support better, uh, you know, later and greater. Uh, Hardware such as graphics cards, CPUs, microcode, particularly Wi-Fi cards, all sorts of things there. Not guaranteed to be too much better considering they're pretty close, but still, um, yeah, we definitely have Fedora being like the bleeding edge when it comes to, to Linux kernels uh, in terms of what, what it chooses to implement there. Uh, last but not least, let's take a little bit of a look at the CPU and RAM usage on boot up. So we have um, uh, CPUs nicely idling off for both of them. I uh, got 730 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Manjaro here. Fedora 36 always tends to use a, a bit more though. So almost, oh, I think that's one megabyte off exactly a gigabyte of RAM on boot up. So 1,023 megabytes of RAM there. So about three, almost exactly 300 megabytes more of RAM on boot up. Fedora does tend to do this. It is one of the biggest utilizing uh, distros in terms of RAM, that apart from uh, Pop! OS, which is uh, quite a big one there. But um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. Again, take it all with a grain of salt, that part. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit that like button. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and I do hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Cheers.